that one I got. Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you can see me, but welcome back to another video. So I don't know if today's video is going to be a Lure Review Tuesday kind of video or not, but it is cold, but not too cold as the last video. It just got done raining for the first time in like three, four, five weeks, so it's awesome. And we might still have a little bit of rain, but it's Monday before school. I only got like an hour and 15 minutes or something before I had to leave and go back home. I don't know if you all can see this or not. I'm going to be using an old time fashioned lure. Let's see if this thing can catch some bass today. And if not, I'll just go right back on towards my normal buzz bait. I hope I don't have to use the buzz bait today. I was here yesterday, caught two before it got dark. But I'm gonna try something different. So I'm gonna talk to you guys down at the lake. Make sure you guys consider subscribing if you find anything useful or anything. And I'll talk to you guys in just one minute. All right, guys, we're down here at the lake. The hula popper is a pretty weird looking lure. I gotta admit, I got the gloves on, I got my hoodie on and see if we can get one this lure is pretty darn light for the uh, for the rod oh crap that's such a bad cast pretty light lure okay so it's like a popper it had hula pop in the name so i kind of figured that was a popper and then it just reels in like a popper so the characteristics of this lure is just a popper oh yeah i did pick this thing up for 96 at, 90 cents at walmart it was on sale this normal price was like Eight bucks or something. Oh. I just had one. I just had one. I had one. I had one already. How did I miss that? Oh, all the hooks are all messed up though. That's one negative thing about this lure that I'm already finding. The hooks are way too close to each other. And are just way too big. In my liking. Like look at that. Just getting the line undone. It got all the hooks like. Oh my goodness they're not even mixed up. But they sit far back. I wish one sat up close. Because I cannot get this stupid line untangled from the hook. There we go. I don't know if I like this lure very much. Oh crap. I don't know, the lure doesn't seem very well. But then the um, windy portion of the water. Seems like I can't hold the wind very good. I'm a little nervous about it. I might just go back to the buzz bait for y'all. Alrighty guys, so I'm back at to a buzz bait. I'm using the buzzbait that I used last night. I, uh, I actually cast it off my good one yesterday. So, I had to use this other one. And this one is the one that my uncle always used, or like the last morning. It's a little bit louder, so I don't know how good it's gonna be. Brighter out now. Hula popper, and it actually, it's for like two minutes while I just tied this thing on, it got so much brighter. I think you need, um, brighter mono mainly mono for this lure because i can tell you i got floral carbon on <laughs> on this thing and this thing does not want to stay up very well it's like i could throw a buzz bait on it but and be fine but this hula popper got him oh my got him oh my goodness You guys had to see that. Plenty of time to eat it too. He had the thing completely gobbled. And I still missed him from the hook set. I could feel him. I like ripped it out of his mouth. I'm like, are the hooks just too big? Are the hooks not sharp enough? Because whenever I was poking it with my thumb, it did not feel that sharp. I think what it is, is that these hooks absolutely suck. I'm not for sure, but I'll show you my theory on why these, this lure sucks. Cause that should have been a caught fish. No doubt about that. Mainly when it has six hooks on it, two treble hooks. See, this is my one theory why it doesn't work very well. It has this like little hook guard, so it can only go this far, this far, but it can swing this way. So when I hook them, 
and he goes this way with it, it just rips on out. He, they got to eat it from the back with a, this part sticking out of their mouth for it to rip. But if they eat it this way or this way with the head facing down, it's ripping right out of their mouth. So that's my theory on why this lure is not catching anything. Even though the back one's all sorts of swivel kind of deal, the back one just does not do the work. There's something up with this lure. If I miss out one more blow up, I am done with this lure. This lure is trash. Oh, got one, guys. I didn't even realize I had one. Wow, look at that. Such the smallest one in the, in the pack. This is literally the smallest one. Can't catch the big ones. Or the decent guys, but I can catch the small guy. On this lure. Didn't even realize this thing got blown up on until I felt something heavy. <laughs> Bye, Venture. Hey, see you, little dude. Just lost another one, guys. I didn't have my GoPro on. But I had one right up here. Just eh, take it down. It's nice. I wasn't paying attention. But all I did was see a, a nice wake, and my lure disappeared. But this lure, I think, is garbage. I'm gonna run it all the way down to there where I put on the buzz bait, and then I'm putting on a different color buzz bait, but I'm putting on a buzz bait. That is so many squirrels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I know, just five. Give me more. That one I got. Shut up here, buddy. Let's go. It's a really nice bass this morning on the hula popper. I might as well just keep it on. Oh. Where were you hooked at, buddy? Top of the mouth. Last hook. Not even in the mouth. But right next to the mouth. On one hook barely. <laughs> Go. Got it. Two pounds. Pretty chunky guy. I set the hook way earlier on that one than I have it on the others. Alrighty. We got our bass. Nice little two pounder. One and a half, two pounds. I'll talk to you later. See you, buddy. See, they're blowing this thing up really nice. Like it's really fun watching them blow up, but it's not fun not catching them. That was fun catching them. I would do that a lot more. I see if I can get blown up and catch them. But I'm happy just to finally get one. A decent size. That would have been four fish for today. That's only two. And I don't think I should use this thing as a normal popper. Because it's a normal popper. Once they eat it, I let them have it for like a second like you would with the frog. And then set the hook. Because I've learned my mistake. I ha I didn't do it once and it didn't end up too good for the fish. So I've been letting them eat it for a second. But with this lure, it seems like if you let them eat it for a second, you're going to lose them. So you got to set them nearly immediately. Alrighty. Well, I had to change out the GoPro battery, so that took a few minutes. I only got 25 minutes of recording time. But I'm going to try to make it count. I turned on my GoPro just in time. No, he spit it. I had him for such a good amount of time. I had him. I knew there was going to be one right here. So I clicked on the GoPro and turned it on. And then I set the hook and I start reeling and he pops off. Lure, you suck. All I know is that you're not going into a tournament with me. Probably, you're probably just going to be my backup lure if I ever need a topwater. You're absolutely failing me. Like this lure is not bad to get blow ups on if you want to just get blow ups, but you can set the hook as hard as you want. I can, you can only catch a couple of them. This thing's so hard to hook a fish. Got him. 
He choked it. He absolutely choked it. The whole lure's gone. Of course he was gonna get hooked on that one. Oh my goodness. If that would have came out, I would have been frustrated. He choked the thing. I wonder how many hooks he got put into him. Oh, buddy. You get the hook into me. I didn't ask for that. Actually, he's just hooked on the bottom by the tongue. One hook actually got put into him. Out of all the hooks, there is only one of them. Only one hook actually caught this big boy. No, oh, that is going to be. Oh. oh, yeah. There we go. All right, y'all. Say bye to this fish. See you, dude. Oh, there's so many blow ups today on this popper, on the super popper. What's this thing? The hooks aren't it. Just aren't good because look at that. One hook, one single hook. I actually got him. Look, my finger's down there pretty darn good and it's not even sharp. I'm like, yeah, it, it, it like put a hole in my finger, but I'm not bleeding from it. That's how bad these hooks are not sharp. The back hooks are sharp as can be. I will tell you that. But these front ones are just not there. And I don't think these hooks are switchable. We're gonna get back on in there. All I got time for is this, this corner and those two back there where I gotta roll. Alrighty guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, so the hula popper I'll give like a six out of 10. The thing gets so many dang blow ups, but it's so hard to catch a fish on it. I'm like, look at that. I probably got about eight blow ups this morning, which is really good for this place. It's probably one of the most blow ups I got in, in a part but I was only able to catch three of them. Last time I had like six blow ups and I was able to catch five of them on the buzz bait. I'm like, I think the hula popper is just not good. The hooks are not that great. And I don't know how you can change them out since it's got like a little guard. But anyways, if you guys would like to see me use a hula popper against a popper, let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to see that video or if you want me to test out any kind of test wa uh, top water between each other like a hula popper and buzz bait or not a hula popper i mean a um whopper popper that's what i meant i'm sorry whopper popper versus buzz bait because they're kind of close together let me know down below in the comment section but anyways if you guys are new press that like button subscribe notifications bell and then like i say comment down below um but that's going to be it for today's video i got to go home do some homework i'm going to edit out this video tonight for tomorrow for y'all to watch and i'll talk to y'all in the next one peace